Good morning, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. So we are on a walkway boathouse um, that uh, leads out to the river. They're uh, just short of 5,000 square feet, and, uh, and they run just under about 12... Uh, about uh, 1,200 linear feet uh, on this particular walkway. So what we're gonna be doing is pressure cleaning and getting rid of all the mold, mildew, algae, dirt, grime, tannin stains, bacteria, fungus, lichen, moss, uh, all of the organic matter we're gonna lift by pressure cleaning using our sodium hypochlorite and uh, wood surfactant. So um, we're gonna be using our green tip <clears throat> to clean the boards, standing off the boards a good six to eight inches and, uh, and adjusting our uh, pattern as we as we go. You always want to go with the grain of the board. Um, you want to make sure you pre-treat. That way you get the boards to open up and uh, get all that dead pulp off of there. You do not want to make the boards furry. And we also have some nautical ropes that we're going to be cleaning up. Those have lichen on them. This project will take a couple of days because it's so long, but I wanted to show you some of the equipment and I want to show you what it looks like um, prior to uh, getting started. So we've, we've got all our equipment ready. All we need to do is uh, add a little um, uh, dilute our mix. So uh, our SH is in, our surfactant is in, and all we have to do is dilute that and we're ready to go. So come take a look. Uh, as you can see, uh, this extends out to a river and you'll be able to get a chance to see that later on. Uh, but I want you to take a look at some of the moss, the mildew, the lichen, the algae uh, that has begun to um, you know, really take over this walkway. So after we get finished uh, doing uh, the pressure cleaning, um, and you can just see here what we have. Um, once we get finished pressure cleaning, uh, we will be laying our solution on with an X-Jet, um, and then we'll be using a high pressure tip uh, to do the boards. Once again, there's a technique to it. Check out the moss and some serious organic matter. This would be your moss here. And then this here is lichen, that's your lichen. So uh, you can just see what this looks like, get a great idea. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you up. Uh, we've staged a couple of um, two and a half gallons of SH uh, so that we can um, make our next batch after we uh, lay this first uh, 10 gallons. Um, we will be, after pressure cleaning once again, we're going to be um, using a stain and sealer uh, to treat these boards, give them UV protection. Um, make them waterproof and give them the uh, desired color uh, that the homeowner wants. So um, uh, this uh, process will be a lengthy one. We're certainly in no rush and, uh, and uh, it is a, a great opportunity to just really be at peace and, and uh, be out in mother nature. It's pretty awesome out here. And uh, so uh, here is our SH. Make sure you guys have your jugs labeled. We're gonna toss a couple of those in. I talked to you guys in a previous video about being a mobile exterior cleaning contractor. And, and uh, this is one of those jobs where, you know, you're a thousand feet from the road. So uh, it would be very difficult um, to, uh, not only are you a thousand feet from the road, but then you have another thousand feet to get to the river. So um, uh, you're gonna need lots of hoses and you're gonna need, um, uh, we're not going to run any more than 300 feet of high pressure. Um, well, I'm running 200 feet right now, and I've got a 100-foot uh, supply hose hooked up to a PVC run. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, probably about uh, 300 linear feet a day, um, something like that. We'll see how it goes. You never really know until you put your wand down and you start cleaning how fast things are going to go. Uh, there's a lot of intricacies. For instance, if I turn you around here and I show you, you know, the pylon, you can clearly see that there's mold and mildew here and, and we've got to get the uh, around the sides. We've got to get the sides of the boards under here, you know, in between all the boards, the framing boards, um, you know, in addition to uh, these nautical ropes, which take a, a lot of work and you have to be really, really careful because you can really make these things uh, furry and, and, and compromise the integrity. Uh, some of these even have uh, little plants growing off of them. So um, this is a system that I've devised uh, and uh, this works really, really, really well for me. Um, uh, it's just a standard jug and, and uh, you can see I've got um, uh, five gallons of SH in there right now. This is a 25 gallon drum that I've attached to a um, hand truck and then I've run 50 feet of siphon hose. I have a little uh, handy dandy thing here that I can hang up the hose when I'm finished so it doesn't drip because I don't have it on off. Um, and uh, as you can see, my supply hose 
is right there. So when I'm ready to roll my machine onto the walkway, I'll be ready to do so. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off uh, my um, uh, high pressure ball valve here. And that way we're not wasting water. Um, and I wanna show you what we'll be using today. We have a 45 degree lance uh, that we'll be using for the ropes, a uh, standard one foot uh, lance and then we have a gun with a brass swivel on it. It's just a 36 inch uh, gun that we're going to be using uh, and then we're going to be using uh, our green tip today. So um, there are a, a variety of tips and I'll share with you kind of what those do in just a second. This is the X-Jet and, um, and I put that on the end of, uh, this is a Mossmatic swivel, I put that on the end of my uh, Sutner easy pull gun here and I'll be using that to lay the solution on and, um, and then we're gonna start to tickle these ropes a little bit uh, with the X-Jet um, and then make uh, the necessary adjustments as we need to uh, in order to effectively clean safely. Um, and uh, as you can see, the hose is all laid out. Your high pressure hose is laid out so it can be drawn. You never want to get your hoses all uh, kinked up and tangled up in through here. So my run is ready to go. And um, on the, uh, this is a belt driven machine, uh, but on the machine, as you can see, um, you know, you've got your white tip, which is a 40 degree tip. And that's a sort of a general tip, a very easy light tip. Then you have the 25 degree, a little bit more aggressive. I like to use it on some of my woods. My yellow tip, I usually uh, save for my concrete and my red tip, I hardly ever use at all. I do have a four gallon a minute um, turbo tip uh, that I use in place of that red tip. <clears throat> And um, <clears throat> I don't downstream inject, so I don't need the soap tip. But uh, these are the two tips that I primarily use quite a bit. The yellow tip, which is your 15 degree tip and your 25 degree tip. Um, the 40 degree tip is, uh, is a very safe and effective tip. We like it. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about, about being mobile. Um, I've got another 600 feet of supply hose in the trailer, and, um, and that uh, oftentimes comes in very, very necessary uh, when you're doing jobs like these where you're so far uh, from um, any type of not only water supply, uh, but also um, uh, uh, from the road. So uh, if I had a fixed machine on the back of a flatbed, I just wouldn't be able to take on this job. And, and uh, this job is um, uh, a very lucrative job uh, for me, uh, not only the pressure cleaning part of it, but also the staining and sealing part of it. So uh, I'll let you take a look at that, what looks like one more time. This will be a before look. Uh, you can see these boards have been touched probably a year ago. Same thing with the uh, beginning of the nautical rope, uh, but we'll go ahead and clean all that up. So that is what it looks like. That's our work. And uh, I want to thank everyone for coming out and joining me. And uh, we've got miles and miles of walkway to do. Have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Dynamite service with explosive results. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. a little side view here of what we're going to be cleaning up too along the sides very important because it's aesthetically pleasing that you get all this cleaned up as well so you're gonna to have to walk down in the woods and make that real pretty as well all right everyone have a great day thank you very much bye-bye